Greetings, Ian from RTO here. Welcome to Wednesday, which means it's Marathon Day, where we take the big catalogues on. And today is a viewer's quest, and I know who it is. <laughs> For once, it's Stephen, who's been a great supporter of this channel. He comes up with some really good bands. Now, the band he came up with this time is a band called Ten. Now, I'd only got one track by Ten. And that was on one of the the classic rock when they first started they did these cds of new stuff and there was a song by 10 on there and i really liked it but i unfortunately i never took them up and uh eventually when stephen suggested this band i thought well i do recognize the name then i found out it was the one of the tracks on my thing so um I started listening to them and boy do I like them they are now sort of in my catalogue and I'm gradually getting round to putting them in my permanent library so 10 are an English melodic rock band hard rock band formed in 1995 by Gary Hughes um, there's been lots of people come through the band and um, but one of them is Vinnie Burns who started with um, Dare and has went on to play with Ultravox uh, Greg Morgan from Dare so if you like Dare you're going to like 10 because it's that very similar sound um, so they've had 16 albums and once again that that it's very hard because they're all very very consistent very good albums um, so this was another tough one but I've enjoyed this one so thank you Stephen for introducing me to this band big time so here we go so coming in at number 16 we have the 15th album it's released in 2021 and it's called Here Be Monsters and the people on here of course Gary Hughes has been the mainstay of this band he's the sort of leader uh, he did vocals, guitars and backing vocals. Dan Ross in Nana is on lead guitars on this. Steve Grocott on lead guitars again. Uh, Daryl Treach Birch on keyboard. Steve McKenna on bass. And Marcus Cullum on the percussion and drums. First track on this one is called Fearless. Really good track. Uh, Gary's vocals are still strong in t even in the 2020s. Uh, they've got a new drummer called Marcus very strong solid it's a good track you've got a great um, interplay of guitar work from both Dan and Steve it's a fantastic track chapter and psalm another good track Steve McKenna's bass line is really good on this and I just love the interplay between the two guitars it doesn't matter who's been on the guitars in this band they've got a great um, thing um, Hurricane it's okay it's not particularly a, a favorite of mine I just find it a little bit lacklustin strangers on a distant shore that good old um, fashioned organ sound uh, which is absolutely wonderful from um, Daryl a uh, great vocal from Gary it's a solid track the dream that fell to earth I love the hi-fi start sci-fi start to this one um, incredible drumming here from Marcus miracle of life just a solid melodic track great stuff anything you want it's okay it's not particularly a favorite of mine it's sort of a little bit ordinary Immaculate fan, fan Friends, good solid track, a great solo, not quite sure which, if it's Dan or Steve, but it's really, really good. And Follow Me Into The Fire, my favourite track on here, uh, this sounds, this is going back to the earlier days of 10, uh, it's really good, great crashing guitar bits and lovely vocals keyboards it's just a fantastic track the longest time a lot of guitar solos on there and that's about it it's not particularly memorable as I say 
Okay, this album. I find this um it's some, got some good stuff on it. It's a little bit mel too melodic, too predictable in places. Um but it's still a good listen. And I do enjoy a lot of the tracks on here. Um so I'm gonna give this one an RTO ranking of six out of ten. Okay, coming in at number 15, we have the 16th and most current album, and it was released earlier this year, and it's called Something Wicked This Way Comes. Uh, we've got Gary Hughes on vocals and guitars, Dan Rossiner on lead, Steve Groker on lead, Daryl Teach Birch on keyboard, Steve McKenna on bass, a different drummer, Craig Walker, is now on the drums. <laughs> first track on this is called Look for the Rose Part 2 love the start of this uh, some sort of warlock casting a spell on somebody it's quite m mythical and that um, and it starts off with a really great um, bass line from Steve McKenna and some great riffs here from Steve and Dan again excellent track Brave New Light great riffs again the this really strong bass line from Steve Gary's vocal really strong then we get the tidal wave it's, this is a little not so heavy it's a bit more melodic uh, it's really good I like that track then we get my favourite track on here it's called Parabellum it's I like this, this is quite good, you've got some sort of notable things in history like you've got Neville Chamberlain saying about declaring war, Maggie uh, Thatcher talking about the Falklands and then you've got the Ukraine which is cover the current sort of thing, the Russian attack and then uh, Roosevelt talking about his speech after the attack on Pearl Harbour and it's just a really good rock track um, some great guitar on this uh, it's a great vocal from uh, from Gary solid track I do love this track then we get the title track something wicked this way comes good track the drumming here now from Craig is good there you have some good drummers the guitar work is solid as ever it's a, just a great tune again the fire and the rain I like how this one starts, it's got this gentle start, then in come those power riffs, solid um, vocal from Gary, he's just a slow, he's just a great singer, sorry my note is itching a good one today, oh, dear me, don't have hay fever, um, next track, New Found Hope, it was okay but the cheesy keyboard sound it sounds it should have been from the 80s you don't need to put that in the piano's great and the strings are okay but it's just that cheesy beginning that sort of puts it off but they do pull it back with some great guitar work the only way out again it's got a great start get rid of the naff keyboard start but that's again you do you don't need 80 sounding keyboards in the 21st century when Darkness Comes, solid track. Um, great guitar solo, let down by the keyboards though. The Greatest Show on Earth. It's the same, it's got great guitar solo and a cheesy keyboard line. Uh, just like the latest, I just like this album. Uh, uh, Scary still sounds great. Guitar was there. It's just that eighty sounding keyboard in places that sort of let lets it down. But you know, you can't have everything. So I'm gonna give this one an RTO ranking of six point five. Okay, coming in at number fourteen. We have the thirteenth album now. This was released in two thousand and seventeen and it is called Gothica. So we've got Gary on here, Dance and Scott. Bass now is John Halliwell. The no, rhythm guitar, sorry. Oh dear. Daryl Treach Birch on the keyboard. Steve McKenna's on the bass. And yet another drummer. B 
bit of a spinal tap here with drummers in 10 Max Yates so the first track is called The Grail I love the start of this it's got this howling wind and this weird voice favourite track on here it's just a great opener Gary is on fire brilliant track then we get Jekyll and Hyde. I do like tracks that you get these footsteps, eerie footsteps, creaking doors. And then it goes into some great riffs from, from Steve. You got this great rhythm thing from the John Halliwell as well. It's excellent. Three guitarists is pretty good on this. Travellers comes next. I love tracks that start off at clock chimes. It's very similar to Pink Floyd's start of time but who cares you get this lovely keyboard soft tones don't mind this one it's a pretty solid track then we get a man for all seasons this is sort of a medieval start you know minstrels and all that sort of thing uh, it's a great vocal from Gary on that one really like that one in my dreams this is quite commercial it's not heavy enough it's just too commercial um, the wild king of winter solid track um, it's very, they're, they're just very solid in what they do it's a good track um, Paragon it's got some nice power riffs in this welcome to the freaks show some great drumming here from Max it's just got a nice rolling drum beat to it which that really adds to it then we get La Lundra da Kula the interplay between the, all the guitarists on this are brilliant absolutely top draw Into the Darkness is the last track there's lots of sound effects very similar sort of an old Milby sort of thing it's, that's the only highlight of that because the rest of the song is a bit wishy-washy once again there's some really good tracks on this album I do like playing this album uh, and I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7 out of 10 oh, really suffering at the moment ok then coming in at number 13 we have the 10th album released in 2012 and it's called Hearsay and Creed it's the first album with the new a new lead guitarist Dan Mitchell and the first appearance of Daryl Treese Birch on keyboards and Max Yates on drums. Steve McKenna also returned to the band. So the band on this one is Gary Hughes on guitars, Dan Mitchell on lead guitars, John Halliwell on rhythm, Daryl Treese Birch on keyboards. Steve McKenna bass and Max Yanks on the drums. First track is called The Gates of uh, Jerusalem. Uh, it's a very it's a very short in introduction sort of thing. Very dramatic, eerie. And then it goes into this brilliant track called Arabian Nights. Uh, some great drumming here for Max. I love the keyboard on this. It's got that Arabian feel, you know, going across the deserts it's absolutely wonderful track then we get gun running gun running this is my favorite track it's just good old-fashioned heavy metal here in my books great riffs shredding great solo great drums just a great metal track the lights go down not too bad it's a little slower some good solo and riffs then we get raven's eye another good track great vocal from Gary on this and some nice guitar work throughout the track right now get rid of that horrible keyboard at the beginning and the track would be perfect <laughs> some of their keyboards are a little bit oof at the moment on these albums but there is one of them um, rest of the tracks brilliant um, game of hearts double bass drum here for Max really gives you the shivers Again, then you get the strong power riffs from Dan and John. Solid track. The last time, solid. Uh, it's not brilliant, but it's solid. The Priestess, another of my favourite songs on here. I love the uh, 
guitars on this the bass line is good and it's got a great solo in Stainable I wouldn't say it's my favourite track on the album probably my least favourite it's okay it's got, got some highlights some nice little guitar twiddles on it but not very memorable for me that one another rainy day well this is good great bass line some nice riffs as well uh, unbelievable real punchy start this the bass comes straight in from Steve McKenna drives the song all the way through excellent stuff the riddle comes next and this is the last track on the album uh, I don't know, they've got the mix wrong here. I think the balance is all over the place. You can hardly hear anything. Yeah, I don't know what's gone off of that one. Another Sterling album. There's a couple of tracks that I'm not particularly keen on, but the rest of the tracks are really strong. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7.2. Okay, then coming in at number 12, we have the third album that came out in 1997, and it is called The Robe and on here we have got Gary Hughes on vocals Vinnie Burns lead guitars John Halliwell rhythm Ged Rylands on the keyboards Greg Morgan on the drums an extra bass work from we got some bass work from Andrew Reb and back in vocals Jason Thanos uh, got some trumpet and flugelhorn on this as well by Ed Collins Drew Baker is tenor and alter sax and Dave Chadwick does voiceovers. First track on here is a great track called The Road. Great vocal from Gary. The guitar work from Vinny is brilliant. I like Vinny Burns as a guitarist. He is a solid player. Good track. Bright on the Blade. Solid track. Great drumming from Greg. You know, Greg was a great drummer when he was in um, Dare. Really good. Standing on the Edge of Time. It's a little bit lacklustre. It needs a little bit more power behind it. It's not melodic enough for a melodic rock track. It's a bit wishy-washy, as I call it. Virtual reality. It's certainly got a bit of that Vinnie Burns dare flair to it. It is very good. Uh, it's one of their gentle uh, melodic tracks, and I like that. I love when Dare do it as well. So it's a great track. Arcadia, my favourite track on here. It's one of my favourite vocals from Gary. Absolutely out the top draw. Battle Lines. Now this really just carries on from Arcadia. Arcadia so it's just a, a continuation. It's a really good track. You're In My Heart comes next. Very, I think this may have been a single. <laughs> it's got that feel to, to it. Let's put a commercial sound and get all the rock fans on. Oh my nose. Stop it. Fly Like an Eagle. A good track except the beginning with the keyboard cheesy the rest of the track is brilliant 10 fathoms deep thunder and lightning sound effects at the start but the obligatory cheesy keyboard comes in and then the rest of the track is just a power rock track someday T takes a little while to get going but once it does it's not too bad I think Vinnie Burns recovers it with some good guitar work a really good album um, it, but it's got the cheesy keyboard starts so I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 7.5 coming in at number 11 we have the ninth album released in 2011 and this is called Storm Warning it was the first album for the band after a five year break um, so it's Gary Hughes on the vocal as ever, Neil Fraser is now doing lead guitars. John Halliwell still there on rhythm. Got a new keyboard player, Paul Hodgson. New bass player, Mark Sumner. New drum drummer, Mark Zonder. Additional guitars are done by Johnny Gibbons and Jason Thanos is doing the backing vocals again. First track, Endless Symphony. Nice start to this, very tribal, them tribal drums give it atmosphere. And we've got a really good keyboard on this one. Uh, it's got some great power chords some, from John as well. Excellent track. Centre of my universe. 
it's got this really sort of sum it's very summary this I think some great uh, guitar here from Neil Fraser Kingdom Come just a really good solid melodic rock track nothing wrong with that one at all Book of Secrets very good it's a little bit different it's not heavy but it's just got some intricate guitar work here from Neil Fraser Storm Warm in the uh, title track just love the sound on this then driving riffs and keyboards they sort of play well together they interplay very good Invisible uh, it's okay this one uh, it's got an interesting start very melodic but it's just solid love song goes on a little bit too long a uh, couple of minutes it's a good song but uh, towards the end it sort of meanders around a little bit that the hourglass and the land slide love the drums on this whoa it's got a great guitar solo on it as well then my favorite track on this one is destiny you've got that great combination between mark and neil uh the drums roll john's solid rhythms there gary's wonderful vocal good track and the last track is called The Wave. Doesn't really fit on this album. Uh, <laughs> it's one of them, you know, you always get a track. What's it doing there? It doesn't belong here. And that's one of them. It's a really good album. And it's a shame that it's only at number number 11. Um, but it just shows what a fine body of work this band do put out. So I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 7.8. Now that was difficult doing the first 16. The, t the last 10 were just impossible task. Because these are all really good albums. So coming in at number 10 we have the fourth album from 1999. And it's called Spellbound. Now this is the um, album, the track that I actually know. Um, so we've got Gary Hughes on the vocals, Vinnie Burns on lead guitars, John Helliwell on guitars, keyboards is Ged Ryland, Steve McKenna on the bass, Greg Morgan on percussion, Jason Thanos on backing vocals, and also on backing vocals on track five, we have Mr. Bob Catley from Magnum, Sue Willits does some backing vocals as well. We've got some violin from Francis Cummings and Susan Wilson, Wilson Williamson, sorry. Claire McFarlane is viola and Rebecca Wetton on cello. And you lion pipes and low whistle and bamboo flute is Mike Goldrick. We get an intro here, it's a little short instrument and it's called March of the Argonauts. I love Jason and the Argonauts, that's all I can think about. It's mythical, it's got everything you want, some kettle drums, it's dramatic, it's just great. And that goes straight into a track called Fear the Force, them driving riffs, some great guitar work from Vinny, great vocal from Gary, I love that track. Then we get Inside the Pyramid of Light, great vocal from Gary on this, absolutely wonderful. Vinny Burns, great stuff, top draw guitar work. And then we get my favourite track on the album. It's the track that I've got. And I've always liked this. And it's the title track, Spellbound. And I, I just love this track. And it was great listening to this again. I love the guitar work on this. And Gary's vocal is fantastic. It's just the track that I've always liked. We Rule the Night. Sound effects galore. Horse riding melodic stuff really good and then we get this little short instrumental called remember the babe it's got that celtic feel very dare sort of that celtic sound that dare had um but with Vinnie burns in the band you're going to get the same red just comes sort of flows from uh, remembrance of the brave it's that celtic sort of rock and i love this stuff and um, the alchemist more driving riffs from john and Vinnie on this Great drumming from Greg. Wonderful track. Wonderland. This is sort of put way. This is what we used to call the cigarette lighter. 
song. Back in the day before mobile phones, when you wanted to have lights and waving, you get the, the script lighters would come out and all that sort of thing. It's all right. I'm not very keen on them sort of tracks. Eclipse, some shredding and half air from the guitarists. Um, great rhythm from John, great vocal from Gary. The Phantom, another corking track, solid riffs. I uh, love that one. And the last track, Till the End of Time. It's a gentle track after all this real hard, heavy metal uh, melodic sound. You've got this really nice, gentle track pieces to end the album. This is a great album. I've played this one quite a lot. And I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. Okay then, coming in at number 9, we have the second album released in 1996, The Name of the Rose. And this was released just four months apart from the debut album, because they'd already wrote the songs for this album. So on this one we've got Gary Hughes on the vocals, Vinnie Burns on lead guitar, John Halliwell on rhythm, Ged Rylands on the keyboards, Martin Shelton on bass, Greg Morgan on drums, and we've got some additionals on here. We've got more some bass work done by Mark Harrison, keyboards by Dr. Brian Cox, yes, the Brian Cox of Dare and additional musician on a 10 album, and Howard Smith on keyboards as well. First track is the title track In the Name of the Rose, a really good track. The acoustic guitar on this is really good. Uh, some killer riffs, great drums by Greg on that one, a good track. We've got Wildest Dreams next. Another track that starts with Ticking of the Clocks. I love that because it's the atmosphere. Great vocal from Gary. Solid guitar work from John and Vinnie. Next track is Don't Cry. It's what I call a good rock plodder. Uh, plods away really well at five minutes of good music. Uh, some nice keyboards on this as well. Turn around comes like. Turn around comes like. Sorry. I said I like good ball ballads, but not this one. Sort of a bit of a filler track. Not for me. Then we get my favourite track on here. It's called Pharaoh's Prelude Ascension to the Afterlife. That dramatic start, keyboards and orchestral sounding, a bit of a speech as well. Um, I love the guitar solo from Billy on this, it's absolutely amazing. And you get this wonderful vocal from, uh, from Gary. Wait for you. This has got a great bass line on here for Martin, some driving riffs either side of this bass line it sort of thinks you've got this bass line down from down the middle and you've got these two guitars sort of playing off the bass line it's really strong the rainbow not very memorable bit of a filler track for me that one through the fire it's eight minutes 19 seconds long and it takes about six minutes to get going it's it's a hard track to get into good night saigon comes next Solid track, uh, it's got some nice guitar work on that. Wings of a Storm, now this starts off again with thunder and lightning, very eerie. And then we got this absolute killer riff from John, my second favourite track on the album. Some great shredding here from Vinnie as well, it's a solid track. Standing in Your Light, I think this was a bit, was probably going to be a, was a single, it's got that commercial single sound to it, it's alright. It's not too bad. This is the next track called The Quest. I like this, it's an absolute killer. It's probably one of Vinnie Burns' best solos. If it wasn't for that solo, this song would be quite ordinary. And the last track is called You're My Religion. Highlights on this one are Gary's vocal performance, Greg's drumming, solid. Solid album, I do like playing this. Solid thing, but I don't think it's as good as the debut. <laughs> but I'll still give it an RTO ranking of 8.2. Okay then, coming in in number 8 is the 12th album released in 2015. And it's called Isla de Murta. 
Now this is named off a mythical island of the dead from the pirate legend. And on here is Gary Hughes, Dan Rossiner, Steve Groker, John Halliwell, Daryl Treach, Birch, Steve McKenna and Max Yates. Uh, first track is uh, it's sort of an intro called Buccaneers, it's an ins instrumental, it's got that sort of military drum to it, orchestral underlays, then it goes into Dead Men Tell No Tales, an absolutely amazing track, this piece at the beginning is my favourite track on the album, it's the guitar work between Steve and Don is amazing, I just love this track. Tell Me What To Do comes now, a good track again, some great guitars on this, fantastic vocal from Gary. Equest is the next one, again some guitar work is brilliant, uh, a great solo, not sure which one does it, and Max's drumming is really good. This Love, it's a okay song, The Dragon and St George very British, well English, um, St George is our patron saint of course, the bass line from Steve is great, the drums from Max are, at the beginning is perfect, some driving riffs from Dan, Dan absolutely ama amazing track, um, Intensify, I love how this starts, I just how it gets louder and louder, the drums just get louder and heavier, the riffs just come in, it's great keyboard, it's a really strong track. Then we get a little instrumental called Karnak, very dynamic riffs and that goes into a track called Valley of the Kings, wow what a track this is, driving riffs, Gary's vocals are absolutely brilliant on this. Revolution. some great solo on this it's up there with some of Vinnie Vinnie Burns it's, it's brilliant it's just a great track Angel of Darkness very heavy one of the heaviest tracks they actually have done it is borderline progressive metal uh, great vocal from Gary the guitar work in this is fantastic Last Pretender Again, the drumming for Max is incredible. It's like a rolly drum sound. The guitars are poor. Just what you want. And the last track is called What Can Be As One. Bit the blip on the album. Bit wishy-washy. I love all the tracks except the last one. Absolutely brilliant album. So I'm going to give this an RTI ranking of 8.4. Okay then, coming in at number 7. we got a 2006 now for the 8th album. The Twilight Chronicles. And this is sort of marked a shift in the band song, relying on more heavy symphonic orchestrations than ever before. So the band at this time was Gary Hughes, of course, doing lead and backing vocals. Chris Francis is now doing guitars and bass. John Halliwell is still there pumping out that rhythm. Paul Hodgson's on the keyboards. Yet another drummer. This is Frank ba Basil first track on here is my favourite track and it's a real epic it's called the prologue the Elysian field stroke Rome this is what it is it's very symphonic rock it's absolutely brilliant it's melodic it's got some great guitar work from Chris Francis the bass line just drives it along as well it's just an incredible piece of music I love it the Chronicles, again, the vocals on this are Gary are absolutely brilliant. The bass line is incredible. This is Chris Francis who's playing lead and bass. He puts so much into this. It's a great track. Then we get the Elysian Fields, full of atmosphere and ambience, driving riffs, fantastic. That rhythm from John Halliwell is very good. Hallowed Ground, very Celtic. Great solo from Chris. Super track. This Heart Goes On, solid, gentler tracks. I do love it when this band uses acoustic guitars. 
wonderful and Gary's vocal is good on this then we get Oblivion quite quirky the drumming is good We've got the drum and the bass are fantastic on here very very good the Twilight Masquerade great vocal from Gary again lovely key key keyboard textures very orchestral excellent stuff Tourniquet solid track uh, great work here from Chris and John you know they're doing all the guitar work between them brilliant stuff Born to the Grave like the start of this Frank's drumming intro is brilliant you get this quirky keyboard run from Paul at the beginning uh, again it's Frank's drumming on this is incredible because there's different time signatures throughout the track and then we get the last track which is when the night is done and the epilogue I think when I think the epilogue I think of um, Frankie Howard at the end of uh, Pompeii <laughs> uh, great track uh, with a brilliant solo from Frank mind blowing in places you should listen to this under the headphones it's brilliant yet another strong album from Tem to keep coming up with consistently good albums over a long period is no mean feat um, so I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 8 oh, 8.5 ok then coming in at number 6 we've got the 14th album from 2018 Illuminati it's Gary Hughes Dan Rossiter, Rossiter Ron Rosing that Ghana or something. Uh, Steve Groker, John Halliwell, Daryl Treach Birch, Steve McKenna, and Max Yates. Uh, first track on this B, As You Are Forever. Love the start of this. You've got the songbird singing, it's wonderful. Celtic sort of keyboards from Daryl, and a fine vocal from Gary. Shield Ward. This sounds like a lot of battle soundtrack, old fashioned swords, axes, and you know, proper battlefield. Uh, then the keyboards come in with a great swirl, bang, the guitars come in. It's a heavy track, great track. Then we get Hysteria, Hysteric Ocean, nice guitar on here. Uh, I like this track, it's a little melodic little thing. Then we get Jericho. What I like about 10 songs is their introductions. This one is great. Trumpets. Atmospheric. And then the guitars come in. Pretty good. Very powerful song. Rosetta Stone. A bit... It's a bit Celtic again. I like that. Some nice harmonies on this as well. It's a really nice song. Illuminate, the title track. Strong... Strong... Track. Uh, catchy, melodic. What more can you need? Heaven and the Holier Than Thou. Nice start to this one. Your piano with keyboard as well. It's a little bit different. The the drum and keyboard sort of dominate this track. It's really solid stuff. Exile. Great drums on this. Guitars come in. Interesting keyboard runs as well all through the track. Mem Mimesa Fatellus, I think that's how it's pronounced. Solid track. You just can't go wrong, it's just wonderful. Our battles lost and won. Again, this is sort of uh, got some slower bits, some heavy bits, catchy tune. Excellent track, a fantastic vocal from um, Gary. What a way to win the album. There's not a bad track on this every track is fantastic um, so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8.6 ok then coming in at number 5 we get to the 7th album now released in 2004 it's called Return to Evermore and it's the first album with Chris Francis who replaced Vinnie Burns so it is Gary Hughes vocals Chris Francis on lead John Halliwell on rhythm, Steve McKenna on the bass, Paul Hodgson on the keyboard, Greg Morgan on drums, Pete Coleman on English pipes, and Jason Thanos on the backing vocals again. So the first track is a little mini epic called Appar Apparition. 
I love how this starts, that eerie keyboards, lots of guitar, acoustic guitars, some really good riffs, really good song, I like that, it's very mystical. Dream timed, atmospheric again, um, then you get some stabby keyboard sounds and the guitars come in, it's just a fantastic track. It's hard to describe them, they're just, it's just so melodic and technical. Evermore. Now this is a little bit of a rip off of Over the Hills and Far Away by Gary Moore. But it doesn't matter because I love that sort of sound. It's got some English pipes on it. Uh, as I said, it's, I love it even though it's a bit of a rip off. Um, Sail Away. Really nice go guitar solo on this. Is, I always love that combination of a rhythm acoustic guitar and an electric solo. It works well on this track. Temple of no Love comes next. Some lovely harmonising vocals on this. Uh, you've got Jason, really good singer. Uh, nice acoustic guitar on this. It's just a really good track. Even the ghosts cry. This starts off with well, uh, sort of a running the fingers up the frets. <laughs> uh, it really does it. It's a bit commercial, but it, it's it's a good little rock song. Um, Strangers in the Night comes next. Keyboards are really hold this track together. Some wonderful keyboard work on this. Then you get this wonderful uh, vocal from Gary as well. It's a great track. Evil's on top of the world. Steve McKenna's bass line on this is great. Drives that song along. I do like his style of bass playing. The one solid track. Lost Souls my favourite track on here. It's them driving riffs. I just drive the song along. Chris Fraser's great on this. John, there's again them power chords come through. Stay a while. You've got that lovely combination of a keyboard run with the acoustic guitar. Really nice. Tearing out my heart. Nice acoustic stuff on this. And then you get some wonderful power chords and an excellent track to end the album. An album that sort of covers the lot. Heavy riffs, gentle acoustic guitar, harmonising singing, uh, an all round album. Uh, I've played this quite a lot. And I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8.8. Okay, then coming in at number four, we have the debut album from 1996. And it's called X or 10. Um, so it's Gary Hughes, Vinnie Burns, Greg Morgan, Mark Harrison's on the bass, Lee Goulding on the keyboards and Howard Smith on keyboards with Andy Thompson doing keyboards as well. First track, The Crusades and it's all about love. The Crusades is basically some great guitar work from Vinnie and it just goes into this, it's all about love, great track, great opener. After the love has gone, the great detail in the guitar work from uh, Vinny in this is amazing. Uh, you've got a bit of a vocoder sort of thing, living on a prayer style. Great keyboards in this. I don't know which of the keyboard places on this because it's just amazing. It's a really well put together track. Yesterday Lies in Flames, a good track. Great vocal from Gary. I like how he changes his tone of the voice halfway through this. Uh, the guitar work is excellent as well. Then we get the torch. Great bass line here from Mark Harrison. Uh, it's very prominent. Some great drumming from Greg. Stay with me. One of my favourite starts to any of the ten songs. It's eerie, keyboard, atmospheric. Then you get this wonderful piece of an acoustic guitar. It's just a wonderful track. Close your eyes and dream. Uh, it's a cheesy keyboard, but it, get rid of that, and you've got some great power chords and a great vocal from Gary. Eye for the child. You've got this sort of vocal overdub with Gary with in singing in different tones. It's brilliant how he does that. Uh, it's a nice song. Great guitar work from Vinnie on this. Can't slow down. I like how the guitars in this 
you've got this very sorrowful rhythm in the b background and a wonderful guitar solo on the top of this. Lamb to Slaughter comes next. Then it, this is brilliant. Uh, the riffs are fantastic. The drumming from Greg is just a great sound. Then we get Soliquy, The Loneliest Place in the World. An absolute epic. It's the best track on the album. Uh, starts off with a hellish sort of start. Then some, and then all of a sudden you get this gentle acoustics and vocal. Incredible guitar work on this. I just love this. What very really good um, debut album. I just love playing this. It, it, it's a strong start for them. And they sort of set their stall out from day one, didn't they? And I'll give this one an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number three. Now, this was tough. Three great albums. Now, this is the sixth album released in 2010, Far Beyond the World. And it was the last ten album with founding member Vinnie Burns. So the band at the time was Gary Hughes, Vinnie Burns, John Halliwell, Steve McKenna, Paul Hodgson and Greg Morgan. First track on here is Glimmer of Evil. Great start. Eerie. Solid drumming from Greg. Throw a little bit of Vinnie Burns guitar work on it. Fantastic. Strangeland comes next. Great guitar solo on here from Vinnie Burns. Great vocal from Gary. I think he's a great singer. Let me get my favourite track on here. High Tide. Some heavy riffs in this. Driving heavy. One of the heavier tracks by 10. What About Me. Let me go back to that lovely melodic sound. John and Vinny. Sort of that twin guitar sound. Excellent stuff. Then we get The Last of the Lovers. Another killer track. Steve McKenna's bass line is a boomer. Outlawed and Notorious. The guitar work from both John and Vinny on this. This is some of um, Vinny's finest work on the album. Absolutely stunning. Scarlet and Grey. Just one of those ambient rock tracks. The guitar work. Superb. Greg's great on the drums. Heart of a Lion. One of the gentler tracks on the album. But it's a very good song. I do like Gary's vocal on that one. Black Shadows, another of my favourites on this. The interplay here between John and Vinny is just terrific. Great vocal from Gary as well. Fine performance. Who Do You Want To Love? That's a solid track. Not the best on the album, but it's pretty good. Then we get the title track, Far Beyond The World. Softer track pretty good the guitar work again is wonderful just a great track a really good album it's a nice one for Vinny to sign off with his time with 10 he's just a fine guitarist again a solid album from top to bottom um, so I should give this one an RTO ranking of 9.3 number two tough this was this just missed out at being my number one and it's from 2014 and it's Albion 11th album and it the name comes from the collective of British Isles at the time of Queen Bodicea ok people say it's Bodica but it's Bodicea in my books it's Bodicea that's what I was taught at school so Gary Hughes Dan Rossinga Steve Groker John Helliwell Daryl Treese and Max Yakes. First track, Alone in the Dark Tonight. Cracking an opening track. Whoa! Then you got three guitar and you got these three guitarists on it. The sound is amazing. You've got John putting out this great rhythm, and then you've got Scott, Steve, and Dan just twiddling around. It's really good. Battlefield. Again, a it's one of them tracks having the three guitarists give it some depth. It's really good. The drumming on this from Max is superb as well. 
Um, it's alive. Three guitarists and a great keyboard running. It just gives it so much depth. It's just a, a great track. And of course, Gary's vocals are on fire. Albion Born. Uh, the highlights of this is just it's the bass line and the the drumming. They just hold this track together. Sometimes love takes the long way home. Solid track. Just good old fashioned English melodic rock. Then we get my favourite track, A Smuggler's Tale. The effects on the guitars are brilliant. It's it's a story within an album. It's just great. The lyrics are fantastic. It's a great track. It ends this day. The opening riff is amazing. Down to the dynamic solo. It's just pure rock for me. Die For Me. The eerie start on that keyboards and drums. Giving it a little bit of atmosphere. Then Steve came in with a great bass line. And then the guitars just beefed it up. Then we get... Gioco de Moore, this is great. Power riffs all over it from from John. Then you've got Scott laying down a great bit of guitar with and it is fantastic. Wild Horses is it probably the weakest track on the album. A keyboard solo and this is good though. I say this is the best uh album post Vinnie Burns. Three guitarists, fantastic. He just gave it extra depth. I love this album. And I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 9.4. But my favourite album, and I think within five, the first three or four tracks, I knew this was going to be my favourite album. And it's the one that I've gone back to the most since I've been listening to, about, um, to 10. It's the fifth album from the year 2000 and it's Babylon. Gary Hughes, Vinnie Burns, John Halliwell, Steve McKenna and Greg Morgan. Probably my favourite lineup of 10. And it's got a guest. The keyboards are done by the one and only Mr Don Airy. Gavin Fernie is the voice of Meridian. Georgina Rudden is the voice of Croy Crytek and Lex's computer. The first track it's called The Stranger. God, this voice of Meridian is really eerie. you got the great guitar work of John and Vinny. And then you put some dulcet tones of Mr Don Airy. Brilliant track, my favourite on the album. What a great opening track. Barricade continues on. Driving riffs from, from John Halliwell. Vinny's guitar work on top of the, that rhythm is just beyond me. It's just wonderful. Give in this time a great melodic track. Nice chords, nice delicate guitar work. Thrown in with some lovely little keyboard stabs from Don. Love Became the Law is next. Very solid. Very melodic. Dan Don's keyboard work is fantastic. He's such a great keyboard player. And he's played with Rainbow. He's played with everybody. And he Don, he's just a terrific pianist. And then we've got the Heat. Some interesting stuff on this. Riffs, and it's a great vocal from Gary. Silent Rain. It's one of the longer tracks. But it's just, it's good. You can't get away from the, the sound on this. It's just an amazing sound. The guitars just are in harmony. Wonderful stuff. Timeless, my second favourite track on the album. Vinnie Burns guitar work. That sort of metallic, there's some sort of metallic sound on the drum as well. It's just terrific. Black Hearted Woman's next. I do love this. Uh, again, it's just Vinny Burns. That's absolutely all over this. Thunder in Heaven. Greg's drums are absolutely booming and powerful. And the last track, Valentine. 
probably one of the best guitar solos from Vinnie Burns. Absolutely brilliant. This is a brilliant album. From track one to track ten is just pure, great, melodic rock. I, I just think this is. They were just faultless on this. Having a, such a great keyboard player, Don Airy, helps. Vinnie Burns is on fire on this album, and I play this a hell of a lot. I just love the, the sound they got on this album. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 9.5. Well, there we go. A band that I've really gotten into. Um, I think it's because I love Dare. And this is Vinnie Burns, who I think is a terrific guitar player. Very underrated guitar player. From a very underrated band. And um, thank you to Stephen for suggesting them and this is what I like about this channel people suggest stuff that I've not heard much of and I find out that I absolutely love it and I absolutely love this band now so that's all for today it's been a long one um, but we're back tomorrow we got a great battle of the debuts for you it's two very underrated female rock bands that I've been championing for, for ages now and we're going to do a battle between Fanny and Bertha uh, tomorrow is a wander down the sidewalk in pick a mix so it means we're going to look at the US top 10 from the 29th of June 1967 and don't forget tomorrow at 8 p.m. British summer time 12 noon Pacific 3 p.m. Eastern it's the fantastic live stream with all my guests that pop up um, we've got the usual regulars Hatties hatches, matches and dispatches the Rob's compilation quiz so that's all happening tomorrow so have a great day everybody bye for now